contradiction design here. In this video, I'm going to test these two 3090s with NVLink using an NVLink bridge, which looks like this. This is the top side of it. And here is the bottom showing the connectors. And we are going to test this in Blender. So I'm going to start off by showing a scene that is too heavy for a single 4090 to run. So basically this scene uses more than 24 gigs of VRAM and therefore it will not render on this device. So these are my Minotaur characters and then I just added some icospheres and subdivided them a lot and gave them a fun glass material. So I'll show you the preferences. I have optics running the 4090. I'll close out of that. And we'll try to start this render. So now this is way sped up. Um, it takes multiple minutes to load this frame. And as you can see, the GPU memory is more than full. And um, the samples never start running. So obviously, I wasn't able to render this. Usually, it'll give you a GPU out of memory error. So now I've switched to my test bench, which is called the Werewolf. It has an AMD 5950X processor, 64 gigs of system RAM at 3600 megahertz. And here are the two GPUs, which you can see are linked with NVLink. Um, that's why they say link zero by them. So I have the exact same file. I'm going to leave the render preview on because that adds extra VRAM use. I'm going to go back to preferences. So here we have both 3090s in optics, but now we have this new option that is distribute memory across devices. Basically, this will allow the 3090s to um, take half of the VRAM use each instead of duplicating the entire scene to both of them. So now I'll start the render, and this takes a little while to begin, so I've sped it up. But you'll see that each of the two GPUs is using about 19 and a half gigs of VRAM. So it's split the scene between the two, but we are running samples. And this is a very heavy scene, so it takes a long time to render. This one took about 13 and a half minutes. Um, just because you can use NVLink on Blender doesn't necessarily mean that it is easy or worth it. So finally, we'll talk about the list of NVLink capable GPUs. These are all NVIDIA models, but the RTX 3090, 3090 Ti, Pro Series RTX A4500 through A6000, and the older Quadro RTX 5000 through 8000s are all GPUs that you can use NVLink on, but keep in mind you do have to have an NVLink bridge so you can only link two cards at a time and they have to be the same chip. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks for watching.